Cowherd. Do the Clippers really have a sh shot at the King? I don't think so because he's the number one basketball brand as a player in the world, and they're the number two brand in Los Angeles. <laughs> And I think LeBron is very aware of business. I think he's a very smart guy. Um, you know, he knows who to connect with, who not to. He's done very well. If you look at his, if you look at his business ops, he's done very well. He knows his stuff. Clippers aren't big enough for him. To and me. the Cleveland Cavaliers were, I mean, the, but he's the huge from brand. There. The Miami Heat were some huge brand. Well, Pat Riley. I mean, my, my, you do I, know that Jerry West is running the Clippers and that LeBron James considers Jerry West the godfather. When he made the decision originally, he re he talked about reading Jerry West's book and how much respect he has for you, the logo. You, you think he'd be a Clipper? I, I think that the Clippers believe they have a shot and they have made that they... Again, you were earlier this week, LeBron, L.A.'s in play, L.A.'s in play. You're thinking the Lakers, the Clippers here, and Jerry West here is and says Los Angeles is in play. We play basketball here. I'm Jerry West. Who look? I get in a room with LeBron James, and say, Magic, or Jerry West. Who's gonna make a more compelling case? Yeah, I think the Clippers have a shot. Um, and that, since you put it that way, I think Magic Johnson has <laughs> a more uh, compelling case, business-wise, for him, more opportunities. Um, but LeBron's coming here to win championships. I understand that, but he also has LeBron James Inc. or Whatever, however you want to call it, his brand, his business, like Colin was saying. Um, if it was to go the case, I really can't see him coming and be a Clipper if you if you are coming to Los Angeles. Like, why play well, second fiddle? By the you know way, if you trade DeAndre Jordan, which I read today, yes. who do the Clippers have? At least the Lakers have well, three. DeAndre yeah. Jordan's the centerpiece of, of what well, he NBA can help. title he, team. He can help. He's better than uh, most of the defenders they have in but Cleveland right now. Isn't that what LeBron likes? He likes going somewhere, putting his stamp on it, and bringing a buddy with him, whether it's Chris Bosh or Kevin Love. Now he goes here to the Clippers. I mean, they're definitely in the mix for LeBron. There's no denying it. you got an owner who doesn't care about money, okay? He, Microsoft money. He's loaded. He will go over the luxury tax. Doesn't matter. And guess what? Doc Rivers probably going to be on the way out. He didn't want to be a part of a Boston rebuild, so why would he want to stick around for this? Then you get LeBron. Hey, you want to bring your guy Fizdale in to coach? We'll take him. He's an L.A. native. Uh, so you got money. You got the coaching aspect. And then, you, you know, Kawhi Leonard's up, I believe, in a year or two. Well, uh, I love Kyrie media. Irving. I mean, all there are hypotheticals. options. Listen, but, but I love I know sports media, all these hypotheticals. <laughs> Kenyon, Listen, this consider is, this. Yo, he just ran down like, all these different scenarios. Like, he didn't put Kawhi here now, LeBron, like, Fizdale, like, who else? But look, Kenyon, add? they're clearing cap room. That's the new NBA. You're in the mix if okay. you acquire draft picks yes. and you can clear cap room and you can afford guys. Okay. They can afford LeBron James once they move off DeAndre Jordan. Wouldn't you rather be in that spot than, I don't know, 25 of the other this. teams? If you're Steven Spielberg in Hollywood and commerce-wise, you're the biggest director in the history of the city, you choosing the third biggest studio to work with? No, you're either making your own DreamWorks or you're going to the big dog, whoever that is. The all-time greats in any business ain't going to inferior brands. It's not what they're doing. I mean, so you're going to say LeBron's going to go to the second biggest. Yeah. I would make an argument the third biggest brand. The biggest brand in L.A. for basketball is Lakers. Number two is UCLA basketball. That's a bigger brand than the Clippers are. Again, what greatness does is make you think it's transferable, that wherever I go, the brand becomes a big deal and an even bigger deal. Only and I can winning. take... I, I, Only if you win. Where is LeBron not won it? Only if he winning. Where is LeBron not won it? The He's first, done winning? The first years in Cleveland was a struggle. I mean, he, was, in the postseason. Big struggle. He took the... He carried, they didn't make the playoffs his first when he first got there. Over but a decade to, ago. To Still, you, though, listen, but, but, starting over, starting with some fresh, I think you'd rather go into something where you already have pieces in place. And the Lakers have pieces. Uh, they have more what? than the Clippers Thank do. Thank you. Well, they well, do. The Lakers-Clippers debate. They have more different. than the Clippers do in place right now as we speak. We know, as Brandon. As we sit here Brandon Ingram and moving forward. You want what LeBron wants is flexibility to yes. bring one of his boys right, with him. Right, right. Okay, that's fine. And you give him that. Player. Okay, you player. give him that option. You know, the Clippers, with Balmer's money and with all the cap space they're clearing, that's like a free runway. And again, you got Jerry West who... Gets credit for turning around the the Golden State Warriors and being the key figure and all that. Uh, and he brought Pau Gasol to the Lakers with Kobe. Yeah, Clippers. You know, I, I just don't think 
Jerry West is smart. I don't think they're doing this move be, without having some sense they have a shot. 25, 30 I think percent. It all had to do with Blake. I don't think it had anything to do with LeBron. It all had to do with Blake. You know what I'm saying? They just wanted to rid themselves of Blake. Yeah, you just paid them franchise money, franchise player money. You f seven months out off of this deal and you move him? I think it all has to do with Blake. I think it has nothing to do with LeBron James. Whitlock, were the Clippers disloyal to Blake Griffin? No, because the loyalty is the contract and the money, and he's going to get all that money. The NBA is guaranteed contracts. I think that's what these franchises or any uh, mature person, that's all they can promise you is what they put on paper. Everything else is a crapshoot. So, no, I, I don't see it as disloyal. Uh, I see it as just they – it looks crazy that six months ago they were all in on Blake and you're a Clipper for life, and clearly they have pivoted. And, again, I go back to they've pivoted. You only pivot, make that kind of a big pivot, is because LeBron James is on the table. Well, I, I've always thought that Blake Griffin's the Hummer in a world of Teslas. <laughs> and Golden State's got all these new cars that have adapted and they're smart. And here's Blake, still can't shoot. Uh, now he's injury prone. If I give you a graph and I go look at Blake Griffin when he entered the league and Blake Griffin now, it's the same dude. He's never gotten any better. Field goal percentage now is worse. I mean, That it's, was it, all true six months ago. That time, <laughs> no, no. I, so what I'm saying is they signed him because they were trapped because Chris Paul left. So the Clippers were like, well, we got to sell tickets here. We're in a Laker town. So they signed him knowing full well he's an injury-prone 6'9 guy that people don't like playing with that I think's got a little Hollywood, a little hey, dis. Jaden Kendall Jenner. He's yeah, I mean, Hollywood. That ain't, that ain't a little. <laughs> little, little, little. <laughs> so, so my feeling is when they signed him, you had to have some self-awareness that a lot of this is because we lost Chris Paul. It's not because we love him. They you. gave him $131 million. Yeah. In well, a both panic of those, mode. Guys, both of those you ain't be that true, hurt. Right? <laughs> you ain't that hurt by Chris Paul leaving that you give somebody 170 <laughs> and you're not invested in it. Like, that's hard for me to believe. Didn't you think the contract, though, when it came out with Blake, weren't you like, Jesus, yes. yes. you're yes. trapped? That, yeah, like that. Now, I didn't like that. Can you? Yes. Blake could have easily said, you know what, I'm going to take a little less than 170, give me the no trade clause. And, and I'm sure he wishes he did that. Right? Back uh, uh, six months uh, ago. Uh, 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 give me a. I ain't taking less than nothing. Uh, well, I mean, <laughs> now you got to go to Detroit and, and, and now and play with Andre Drummond and, and the Pistons and, and guess miss what? the playoffs. And guess what? And you're not dating Kendall Jenner anymore. Still still got that 170. By the way, he's missed <laughs> he's missed 70 <laughs> games in three years. Yeah, the guy's had six surgeries. I mean, come on. He's no, no. 29 years old. He's I, a shell of his I want to go back to Kenya's deal that the Clippers are just all... It's all about Blake Griffin. They're just done with him. Yeah. They changed in six months. I, I think it's they not really where they should be, I guess, team-wise. They're looking at what they have on the roster. And competing in the West, right? You got DeAndre and you got Blake. And the top team in the West, or well, the top two teams right now, Houston and Golden State, right? Don't match up. Yeah. You, we don't match up well with both of them. You bring in a guy like Tobias. I'm just looking yeah, forward, sure. moving forward. He spreads the floor. He does more. Avery Bradley played for Doc in Boston. He knows his skill set. You know I'm saying they got the picks out of the deal. I, I, I think it's moving forward. You know what I'm saying? And not having anything to do with LeBron. And if so he and if he does choose to make that move, then you're like, oh man, we can get LeBron now. So can but I think it's about him and the things that's been going on, the injuries, the the getting the breaking his hand, punching his team, uh, the equipment guy. I think it's a lot more than we know, and it's more than just basketball. Cavs have lost 10 of 15. The okay. timing is what Locke says. Just a little bit interesting, right? Oh, wow, the Cavs are imploding. LeBron could hit the market. Blake, eh, it's season's not happening. The season's Why not over yet, on? though. We say this, the last three or four seasons, you said the same thing about the Cleveland well, except Cavaliers. Except LeBron's a free agent. But it, you said the same thing about the Cleveland Cavaliers. Oh, they're struggling right now. Oh, what's LeBron going to do? And then, oh, they go to the finals to win it. Next year, LeBron, the Cleveland Cavaliers, struggle. what does LeBron go do? They make it to the finals. He don't leave. Same thing now. Le oh, the Cleveland Cavaliers are struggling right now. Who in the, the last seven, been the last seven finals? Until somebody proves me different, LeBron James is going to, he's in Cleveland. He's going to yeah. make it to the finals again. And he's in Cleveland. Like, I don't think he's leaving. Uh, you know what? There thought. was a moment about two months ago. So they, so Chris Paul leaves, and they just they bring in the Brink truck for Blake. Blake. Yeah. And then one day I'm on the internet, and there's a TMZ story, and he's out in Hollywood with Jenner. And I remember thinking that day, I'm like, <laughs> if I'm the Clippers, 
I just gave you a fortune. I want more resolve and more focus. And you're out in the Kardashian group. And I remember that day thinking, we just totally committed to you. You didn't see Kobe out doing that stuff. Like, if I finally back up the truck, I want you now, you're the franchise. And my first takeaway was, oh, boy, is he distracted. This is going to be. And I think there's a possibility that some guys in that room were like, he ain't the right guy. No, he ain't the I, I can see your point is excellent because also Lamar Odom and Chloe were right here in Los Angeles. And we got to see firsthand. You go off into that world and you can fall down a cliff. Then again, I'm not even blaming the Kardashians. Lamar had problems sure. that extend well beyond the Kardashians. But again, if you want to be in that TMZ world and that ultra celebrity world, and again, I think you raise an excellent point. They give you $170 million to be the man, to be all in the way that, you know, you want your great players Kobe to be. Kobe money. Well, I mean, yeah. well that, you saw well, what Kobe did. That contract wrecked the Lakers for five I, years. It's the person, man. Like you said, people have their own things going on. I don't care who he date, as long as you show up and play basketball, man. But I think like, for an office guy, it's just It's whatever, man. Like, TMZ, they everywhere. They had Starbucks and Calabasas, so you can't get, <laughs> you can't get away from TMZ, so, like... I don't think they're in Detroit, you know though. I'm saying, like, <laughs> oh, trust me. They're, they're listen, they everywhere. Listen, they got people working everywhere. As long as you show up and do your job, man, who cares who you dating?